Dear learners, a very fine good afternoon to all of you. I'm Dr. Satish Vishwambar Lakde from Walchand Institute of Technology, Sholapur. And I welcome you all to this course in English grammar. And today, the topic which we're going to discuss and learn is articles in English grammar. So once again, I welcome you all to this course in English grammar. Now let us begin with the topic articles. At the end of this session, students will be able to use articles in oral and written communication. Now, let us understand the concept of articles in English grammar. So, there are two articles in English grammar. They are first, a or an, and second is the. Thus, the following are the two classes of articles. And they are first definite article the and second is indefinite article a or an. So as you can look into the slide, we have articles and these articles can be grouped or classified into two categories. The first class is called as definite article and we, are, we have the in this category. And the second class is or the second category is indefinite article and in this class we have a or an. Now I would request you to pause this video for some time and answer the following questions in your course journal. And these questions are when do we use the definite article the in a sentence and the second question is when do we use the indefinite article a or an in a sentence. So I request you to pause this learning video for some time, answer the questions in the course journal, and then we'll resume the session. I welcome you back once again for this session on articles. Now let us understand the concept of definite article the. So there are certain rules for using definite article the. So generally, there are three rules for using the definite article the. So let us understand rule number one. So definite article the is used when the reference to a word or a noun in a sentence is definite or particular or specific. Example, I want the pen which you gave me yesterday. Now this sentence exemplifies the use of definite article the. As you can say, there's a, as you can see, there's a definite reference to the noun pen and so the which clause defines it very precisely and so when you say I want the pen which you gave me yesterday this which clause gives the noun pen a very definite particular and specific description and that is the reason why we use definite article the here. Now so we understand that a definite article the is used before a word or a noun when the reference to that word or a noun is definite or particular and this is seen in that uh, in the sentence that is uh, I want the pen which you gave me yesterday when you say I want the pen which you gave me yesterday here the which clause makes the reference to the pen very definite and very particular and so that's the reason why we use definite article the here now we'll understand rule number two with reference to definite article the. So rule number two, in rule number two, definite article the is used with singular and plural nouns. Now this particular rule is, ex is exemplified in the following sentences. Sentence number one, I read the book which you gave me yesterday. Now here the reference to the noun or the word book is very definite, particular and specific and the noun book is singular and hence we have used definite article the here. So as I said, we can use definite article the with a singular noun and this is exemplified in sentence number one. Now definite article the is also used with plural nouns and this is exempli exemplify, uh, exemplified in sentence number two. The sentence is, I read the books which you gave me yesterday. Now here, 
the noun books has a definite reference it has a very particular reference and which is given by the which clause here and the noun books is also plural so i repeat once again the reference to the noun books is definite and specific and the noun books is plural and hence we are used definite article the here now let us move to the next slide now let us understand rule number 3 rule number 3 for definite article the so definite article the is used with words or nouns begin, beginning with vowel and consonant sounds so definite article the is used with both vowel as well as consonant sounds let us see the example i want the umbrella which you gave me yesterday now here the noun umbrella has a very specific definite particular reference and which is made or pointed out very clearly by the which clause and hence we are use definite article the here plus the noun umbrella starts with a vowel sound um and hence we have used definite article the here so we can use definite article the with nouns or words beginning with vowel sounds next example i saw the man who gave us a chocolate now here the noun man has a definite reference and the noun man begins with a consonant sound and hence we have used definite article the so these two examples clarify or make it very clear that we use definite article the with words beginning with vowel sounds and with words beginning with consonant sounds so these are the general rules three general rules for the use of definite article the of course there are exceptions for the use of these articles especially definite article the and we'll see this exceptions in the next lecture now let us move to the next category that is indefinite article so in this category we have a or an so let us understand the rules for using indefinite article a or an so here also we have three rules and rule number 1 says that indefinite article a is used when the reference to a word or a noun in a sentence is indefinite or not particular or not specific example i want a pen now here the noun pen has indefinite reference so there is no specific there is no particular reference to the noun pen here and hence we are using the indefinite article a here one more example i saw an elephant now here in this sentence there is no definite particular or specific reference to the noun or word elephant and hence the reference is indefinite not particular not specific and that's the reason why we are using indefinite article and here now let us understand rule number 2 rule number 2 indefinite article a or an is used only with singular nouns only and only with singular nouns example i want a book now in this sentence the noun book has indefinite reference and it is singular and hence we have used indefinite article a now let us look what happens when we use a plural noun now the next sentence i want books now here in this sentence the word books is plural and has indefinite reference hence now as this noun is plural and as i said we cannot use indefinite article a and an with plural nouns because a and an are only and only used with singular nouns hence we have not used any article here so it is i want books so there is no use of any article here because the noun in question is in the plural form and we do not use indefinite articles with plural words now let us understand this rule with reference to an now the sentence i want an umbrella here the sentence in the sentence the word umbrella is singular 
and has indefinite reference that is the word umbrella is uh, does not have any specific or any particular reference so the reference to the word umbrella is not specific not particular it is indefinite plus the word umbrella is singular and hence we have used the article indefinite article and here now if we replace the singular word umbrella with the plural word umbrellas see the difference now now the sentence i want umbrellas in this sentence the word umbrellas is plural and as i said a or an is only and only used with singular nouns hence we cannot use indefinite article and here because the word umbrellas is plural and therefore we have not used the article and though the word umbrella begins with a vowel sound of course it begins with a vowel sound and we can use the article and but the second rule states that a and an are only used with singular nouns and so we have not used an here before the plural word umbrellas because it is in the plural form so now let us go to the third rule according to the third rule a is used with words or nouns beginning with consonant sounds example i saw a man in a garden now here the word man has indefinite reference so the reference is not particular not specific not definite and the word man begins with a consonant sound and hence we have used the indefinite article a now let us understand this rule with reference to an an is used with words or nouns beginning with vowel sounds now look into this sentence look at the sentence i ate an orange now here the word orange has indefinite reference that is the reference is not particular not specific and the word orange begins with a vowel sound a and hence we have used indefinite article an because as we said in rule number 3 an is used with words or nouns beginning with vowel sounds hence we have used an before orange because the word orange begins with a vowel sound and dear learners uh, this was all about the use of articles in english grammar and this is the reference